And we have one such company that is joining in with us, Sciences Tech. Uh, we have Kaushik uh, Khona, who is the managing director uh, at uh, the company, joining in with us of India Operations. Thank you so much, sir, for joining in with us this afternoon on ET Now. You know, firstly, let's just start. Uh, you know, let's just start by talking about what is it that you see this uh, impact or you know the synergies that you see coming in of the announcement that came in on GIS mapping for the industry as well as the company. Well, I think uh, the Honorable Prime Minister, Finance Minister has given a uh, excellent uh, uh, announcements in the budget, uh, which they uh, which he announced on twenty third of July. Uh, one of the major focus of this budget was uh, geospatial activities, including geo mapping of urban lands, rural lands, and also talking about Bu Aadhar, uh, which is going to uh, be a game changer for uh, the reforms for the land in going forward. Uh, we also see a lot of potential into the land survey, the mapping of them into the current uh, land registry. And even for urban lands also, there is a, a linking of land records to by digitizing the GIS mapping and digitization of the cadastral maps uh, are also part of the announcements, which I think are the core areas of sciences tech. And we are quite eager to see the things uh, uh, to the business proposals going forward. Mr. Khona, I've been looking at here some of the releases. You recently backed in order in Uttar Pradesh as well with the Water and Sanitation Department. Uh, the overall prospects also look quite strong. Talk to me about what the order book is right now and what lies in the pipeline. Uh, well, one more announcement which I think uh, the Honorable Finance Minister made was in relation to the water management. And uh, we have one of the major presence in water, as you rightly said, uh, that we have a good presence in Uttar Pradesh as well as some announcements which we recently made. Uh, we have a total order book when we started this financial year of around 700 crore, which is also part of our investor presentations on the website. Uh, out of this uh, 700 crore, more than 500 crore is towards the, uh, the, the water management and geospatial part. And uh, we are uh, very eager to see that the new opportunities which are coming into this, uh, uh, through this budget, uh, I think we should have a lot of opportunities to go into various other states, uh, including the existing presence which we have in Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh. Uh, water management, including promoter water supply through Jal Jeevan Mission as well as through Amrut uh, Scheme is going to be, uh, again, a lot of uh, focus area for us because that is where we provide the end-to-end -end, uh, software solutions to uh, the different states uh, for enabling the uh, better water management. Uh, so, you know, what I also want to know, yes, you spoke about two states like Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, and you said, you know, you uh, maybe will make inroads into other states as well. Any such states that you're in talks with, any companies that you're in talks with now on this front as well? Uh, well, we are developing a lot of potential onto this. We have got this announcements and we already have presence in Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand uh, and Rajasthan. Uh, these are the states where we can uh, start tapping in addition to penetrating further into Maharashtra as well as Uttar Pradesh. Uh, while we also see that even the lot of budget allocation uh, has been made towards this, uh, I see that uh, as per the uh, numbers of the outcome budget, which is presented more than uh, 1 lakh 13,000 crores is, out, is earmarked by the Honorable Finance Minister in respect of the areas where sciences has its presence, including water management and geospatial. Uh, while we also look into, uh, I think, uh, contributing into the smart city development where we have our own presence on urban uh, de development into the urban planning, water management, as well as into the energy management. We also provide a lot of support on e-governance to various states, including Uttar Pradesh and Maharashtra. And I think uh, with the kind of uh, focus and announcement, uh, we sure feel that we will penetrate further into these states as well as we'll try to put a uh, kind of go into other states as well. No, I was just going through your uh, details as well in terms of numbers. From a revenue profile of 185 crores in FI21, you've come to almost 250 crores and margins also have improved materially from 8% to 17%. What about the next two to three years? Uh, could the revenues be, let's say, 500 crores in a matter of a couple of years? And where does the margin go from here on? Is there an uh, operating lever for you to take it above 20%? Uh, well, first of all, I think uh, there is a constraint for me to talk about guidance about any margins uh, going forward. But yes, I think broadly we can say that 
uh, and I have also uh, research which is made towards the world potential, uh, more so onto the India potential of these areas. And we see that the growth could be in the range of around 20, 25, 30 percent. Uh, while we have grown last year from 22, 23 to 23, 24 by around 24, 25 percent. And we expect with the kind of push and the kind of uh, employee strength and the potential which we are building up. Uh, I think the, we can see a similar growth in future. Uh, I would not be able to tell you what number in next two, three years, but I think it's an extrapolation of the opportunities which we are actually trying to uh, fructify and uh, uh, kind of implement. So uh, margins, obviously, we are quite skeptical about ensuring that we go with the high margin business. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be, as I said, uh, not fair on me to say that uh, whether I will be 22% sure. and more or or what. No, we totally appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Kona, for making time and speaking with us. So the growth is something which looks strong in terms of opportunity. 20 to 30% could be the growth rate, but margins we'll have to look forward to. Uh if you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.